Hey everybody, if you know me, welcome back. If you don't know me, I'm Chef John Bilfus. Used to have a little restaurant here in Owasso, Michigan called Lula's Louisiana Cookhouse. Damn thing burnt down on us two years ago, so I just make videos now. So anyway, I got a great one for you today. Mother's Day's coming up, and I thought, you know what, a better time to show you how to make the pan perdue that we used to make at the restaurant. French toast. <laughs> One of the things I miss about being at the restaurant is the people that I got to work with, a lot of fun. I uh, never will forget the day Bob asked me, John, how would you say pan perdue in French? But anyways, so here we go. Let me show you how to make this wonderful, wonderful treat. It'll be great for Mother's Day or any other day. So let's get at it. For this wonderful Mother's Day treat or any day treat, pan perdue, you're gonna need milk, eggs, butter, sugar, rum or brandy, orange blossom water, vanilla extract, maple syrup. All the maple syrup we had at the restaurant for 10 years came from Mr. Gay Sugar Bush, a guy named Bob, different Bob. Great guy, was always there in 10 minutes if I ran out of maple syrup. Um, hit him up, I'm gonna show you how to get a hold of him at the end of the video here. And now back to the rest of the ingredients. Confectioner's sugar, French bread, pecans, and a lemon. So I had a grandmother, Grandma Bertha, who lived in Shreveport, Louisiana. And in her yard, she had pecan trees. And every year, she would send us a pillowcase full of already shelled pecans, like 30 pounds maybe. And so we always had pecans in the house. And what I'm going to show you is how my mother butter roasted the pecans the same way we did it at the restaurant. No coincidence. Butter roast these pecans. Just added a couple tablespoons of butter to a saute pan. And when that gets all melted, I'm going to add some pecans. I'm just going to toss those around in here until they get nicely toasted. And that's about how we like them, right there. I'll turn off the burner. Give them a good salting. We'll just set those aside. Now in this step, we want to warm our rum. I'm using uh, rum here. At the restaurant, we use brandy. Either one is going to be just fine. We're just going to warm it up a little bit. And flame it. There we go. Turn off our burner. And let that flame die out. Burning all the alcohol off. And once that flame goes out, we're gonna add our sugar. This is about a third of a cup of sugar. I'm making a half batch here. I'll, I'm gonna give you, as I always do, give you the whole recipe at the end here. And zest of about half a lemon. So we're just gonna stir this sugar in to the hot rum, just enough to melt it. That'll about do it. For this small batch, I've got three eggs, one cup of milk, and a half teaspoon each of vanilla extract, and orange blossom water. We mix that up real good. Then we'll stir in our rum, sugar, and lemon zest mixture. Stir that in real good. You want to make sure that that's good and cool, or still stir like hell when we put it in because we don't want it to scramble the eggs. There we go. So now we want to soak our French toast, pan perdue, and our egg mixture. Just a couple minutes. It really kind of depends on the bread. You don't want to soak it so much that that bread's going to fall apart. And while that's soaking, I'm going to heat up two tablespoons of butter in my pan. I've heated up this butter, melted this butter over medium-low heat. I don't want to cook these too fast. I want the inside to be done without the outside being too, too brown. So I'm going to put these into our pan. See the lemon zest there. And this has been about three minutes and I suspect they're getting just about the way I like them. Yep, on the other side. Let's go ahead and flip these. And we'll give them about three minutes on this side. And these are looking just right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plate them. And the way we finish these at the restaurant was we're using my friend Bob from Mr. Gay Sugar Bush Maple Syrup. It's wonderful, wonderful maple syrup. 
then we'd sprinkle on a little bit of powdered sugar, just a little, and cover it with our chopped butter roasted pecans. Well, there you go. Another exciting video from Scratch Cook with John. Please subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you watching. I've got another one coming at you next week just in time for Mother's Day. So stay tuned.